Hey guys, so we got a different video for you today. A lot of people have been asking about our room that we do all of our songs in, and we kind of wanted to give you a behind the scenes of what that room is like and you know where it is in relation to our house. Um, and so come on in, we'll show you where it is. Um, it's actually the front room of our house. So like right when you walk in, this is it. Um, this is the entryway. This is where Aubrey stands, right over here. This is Aubrey's corner. <laughs> Sometimes she'll post up like this, <laughs> but usually has the tripod here. Um, we've got these lights here. Um, this is our living room and kitchen, oh, yeah. just to give you an idea of where the room is in our house. So right when you walk in, here's our kitchen and our living room. So everything that happens in the house happens right here. Yeah, right in the front room. And um, what's kind of interesting is, you know, when we first started doing these videos, this was just a formal sitting room. I mean, we had uh, maybe this chair and a, and a longer couch. Uh, and uh, I think Aubrey had this cool vintage cart that she restored. And, um, and that was it. And the piano. Yeah. Um, and, and just to clear up something too, we get a lot of messages about these candlesticks. Oh yeah, they're just candlesticks. Yeah, people think that there's something crazy. Crazy. We don't, <laughs> they're just candlesticks. I got a really good deal on them on Craigslist. And then, uh, yeah, and this is really cool too. Aubrey blew this up. She found um, the lyrics and chords for the first song that I ever wrote for her. Um, it was in our wedding, and then she she. Um, had them blown up and, and put up on the wall. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, that's, that, that was on the tablet that you actually wrote it on. So on the paper oh, okay. that he wrote it on. And I saved it and made pictures out of it. Thank you. <laughs> so we want to show you um, what you probably wouldn't get to see uh, when you're just watching the video from the straight angle. Um, like I said, this room was just a sitting room. Um, we hardly ever came in here. We would probably stay mostly upstairs or in the in the living this room. This is like the formal room. So. Yeah. So I would come in here and have coffee with Aubrey and uh, play guitar or whatever, but that was it. And uh, now we have a purpose for it. Now we have a purpose for the room. So you really can't see any of this area on screen in the videos. When we're not using Bellamy's mic, that's where it lives. <laughs> um, and that's her little microphone. Uh, let's see, you want to show them behind there? Sure. So as you know, Cash usually sits here. Um, and when we first started, I had two amplifiers. Well, when we first started, it was just all acoustic. And then Beckett was kind of playing a box drum, but he said, I kind of want to play a drum set if you could bring in like maybe a, a kick and a snare. And now it's come into this whole thing, um, the whole set with cymbals and everything. But we used to put an amp right here and right here. And we kept it very low volume, but, um, the vibration, I guess, we had to move it because Beckett said, man, it's vibrating me all the time. So we moved my amp over here, which I'm not an electric guitar guy. I have one amp and this is it. And we faced the speakers towards the wall so it would be more quiet. Um, and we have... What is the amp called? This is a Fender DeVille, a Blues DeVille. And it's yellow. And it's, well, I think it's called Tweed, oh, is what okay. they call it in the magazines. <laughs> um, but yeah, I keep it very low volume. And then Cash uses this Blues Driver a lot by Boss. And we put Pete here because uh, we were using it for a Pete Townsend song, a Who song. And then when we did a Joe song uh, by <laughs> Joe Walsh, we use that. But this is just a wall pedal and a couple other pedals that we haven't really used in a while, but they just stay here. And then I have this down here, which is called a Line 6 multi-effect um, board, and it gives me different sounds and stuff like that. Uh, but this is the main mixer. Now, everything that you hear, uh, it goes through this mixer. Like, I go through this as my mic, then this is my acoustic guitar, and this is Bellamy's mic. Very simple. And the speaker actually lives right underneath the bench that I sit on and play when I play. And it's just a small 10-inch uh, speaker uh, by QSC. And A lot of people, we get a lot of questions about mixing the songs and how we mix them. And 
you should turn this up, you should turn this down. What you guys hear when we film the song, that's what is on camera. We don't mix it later, we don't fix yeah, the sound. Yeah, it's all live in the room. Yeah. So when we adjust things, we'll do like a quick sound check or whatever. Um, we'll say, okay, let's turn the bass down or the guitar down or my vocals down. Um, and there are songs that we play that are a little bit louder and that's, you've seen the kids been wearing their earphones, their ear protection, which we keep over here. If you wanna, I even have some for when we're practicing, mm -hmm. but. I should say these plants are new. If you go <laughs> back through our videos, it's kind of a fun experiment to see how long the plants that we've had here have lasted. You can, sl you can see, like, I think we've had three or four there. You can watch them slowly die over the last two years. Right. So let's <laughs> take a look that at... That one's doing pretty good. Yeah, that one's been in there for a while. <laughs> um, the piano, you know, we don't play it. We play around with it. Uh, this it's not a in gift. Perfect, yeah, yeah it it's not in perfect tune. So we usually use the keyboard if we have a piano song and we'll bring that out and put it in front. That would be weird if you were playing with your back to the camera. We did a couple songs like that where <laughs> Cash, poor Cash had to do that. Cash and Beckett made these in art class. Yeah, and I think they were what? Five and three or something like that. Something like that. We've got our picks that Aubrey finds all around the house. In the laundry, in the junk drawers. <laughs> and then this is kind of Beckett's little toolkit here he's got his drum key and some felt for his cymbals and stuff like that now back here you can see sometimes he'll switch between these snare drums beckett would want to do a video and tell you all about these different snare drums each one of them are special for a different reason yeah so he's going to show us in another video where he got them and kind of so behind way. here he's got a little fan because he He's working harder than everybody, I think, in the group. <laughs> you can kind of hear, so, in some of the songs, if it's a harder hitting song, if it's louder, he'll keep the fan on, you can kind of hear it in the background, but most of the time he's okay with turning it off. Yeah. But I mean, July in Florida, and he's sitting right next to this window where right. it's hot, so he, he'll keep it on a lot of the time. So times. that's Beckett's little area. He's got his sticks back here. He's got his got some couple tambourines, tambourines and some extra cymbals. And then back yeah, here, oh yeah, yeah, a lot of people are like, man, he's playing a full kit, it's very loud. These are actually really cool. These are mufflers and they're from Roots EQ. Um, it's a company that makes these. Uh, we used to have bandanas that we would just drape over, but my good friend Noel, he sent these over to us. Good. Yeah. So this is actually like a cutout of just the, just the rim, I guess, and, and you can still get a, a good sound, but it muffles it really good, so um, it's not, so it's not too sound. loud. Yeah, exactly. Our um, neighbors are really understanding. We should also <laughs> say that too. We usually practice and um, get everything done before the evening, but mm -hmm. uh, we always text them, tell us if we're too loud, but everybody seems to be on board with yeah. it. And then we got this little um, <laughs> basket of goodies that Bellamy sometimes will use. We got tambourines. Uh, we've got a breadstick. We a don't know bread what that stick. thing's called. <laughs> I think it's called a <laughs> Um We've got some. Uh, a sweet lady in, in Ecuador actually sent us some really cool Those percussion are really, instruments. Really cool. Some different, yeah, percussion instruments um, around the world. And we even got a kazoo. And so we'll we've try got to extra straps. Yep straps that we gave them for Christmas that we thought they <laughs> use all the time, but they like their straps better. So back to the lights, we, we usually use these lights. They're just ring lights. Um, for a while, we didn't have any lights right. and it was so dark. We'd be in here in the evenings, especially in the winter time when it gets dark early, it'd be, you know, pitch black. So we had to light it up a little bit better. Right. Or if you don't have those on, which you can probably see, it's kind of a yellow tent and we always look like we had jaundice or yeah. something. <laughs> this, this, I should say this light produces the heat of the sun, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it is so hot. It's we very put cool. LED oh, wait, bulbs. we lost one. Yeah, we did. Well, and I took a couple out because it was so, so hot. We we switch it to LED bulbs. It doesn't matter. It is so hot, but I do love it. It's beautiful. Uh, also, there is, um, so Cash's bass amp, when he plays, if you want to turn around here. Um, slow so I don't make them sleep. We had so many people message us and say, we can't hear the bass, we can't hear the bass. Well, the bass was usually in the corner of the room behind Beckett, and then we put this closer to the camera uh, from what the you know mic would pick up from the camera. 
So his bass amp's over here, and we run a chord to him. And so we don't want to hear any more complaints. So we don't want to hear, yeah. <laughs> you can't hear <laughs> Turn the bass. Turn the kid up in the mix. Um, let's see. I, I'm trying to think what else. Um, any extra little behind the This is the usually scenes where tables. I am. I'm usually back here. Yep. <laughs> when I use a different camera to film with, I'm filming with a GoPro today. We usually use my um, Canon DSLR. It's a Canon 7D Mark II. That's another question we get a lot about is what camera do you use? Do you have an external mic? No, we don't. Um, <laughs> maybe we, we should one yeah, day. Yeah, maybe but we should, right but we now don't. It's like we've got it dialed in to where we like it. and um, It's a pretty good microphone for that camera. Yeah. So. And, and we don't have to do like a, a lot of stuff in post. You know, Aubrey just edits what's in the in what's the main there. camera yeah and we've always our philosophy has always been we want to keep it as easy as possible mm -hmm. um you know most of the time they'll be practicing in here and i'll be making dinner right there <laughs> so right before we film you can see where we're at i'm there they're there <laughs> <laughs> so yeah that, i hope that answers some questions we always get these uh, technical questions like what kind of equipment do you use um if you have any other questions for us, then we'll try to answer them. But um, so my amp is a Fender Blues <laughs> DeVille. Some people have been asking that. 410 uh, turned down very, very, very low. And yeah, the speakers are faced to the wall. And we'll do another, we'll probably do another uh, guitar collection. Oh, yeah, sure. To explain that soon. Cash wants to show you and then, his favorites. Uh, I forgot to say that the mixer is just a simple Allen and Heath mixer with effects it's called the Oops. it's called the z 10 effects um it's I, I use it at my gigs and so uh, when we're not playing the videos i take it with me and play um my gigs during the week with it and it's a great little four channel mixer and uh what else aubrey i think that's, that's it that's it um so you know hope that answers some of your yeah. questions and gives you a little bit more isn't this light pretty too? <laughs> we need some more light bulbs for that. But we hope that answers some of your questions and gives you a little bit of behind the scenes knowledge uh, of what we do and how we do it. Yeah, thanks for watching everybody. And uh, we'll try to do a couple more of these videos with the kids and have Beckett tell you about his snare collection. Maybe Cash can tell you about his guitars. Thanks again for watching. We hope you have a great day. Bye. <laughs> Bye.